provide you possible by the end of this year, so I'm looking forward to the end of the year. And I know this has been a very, very long camp for you. The dates kept changing. How soon would you like to come back in if you want to come you know what, like, uh, we had a long camp. This was the longest camp we ever had, five months, you know, staying away from my grandson, his son. Uh, but that's a big motivation to David. You know, I think he does everything for his son and his family. Uh, I, I, see him, I see him change, uh, mature a lot. And he's super hungry. He's a Mexican master, you know. But, you know, uh, our job is to train, to get ready for whatever our, our promoter and our, our manager, I mean, our promoter and our company, you know, they're, they're the ones that decide. It's their job to put the fights together. I would love to fight Charlo, Caleb Plant, uh, whoever is in there. We're ready. We're ready. Hey David, congratulations on your victory tonight. You're here with your fights. Um, you know, obviously, like obviously, Canelo lost to Evil. His plan was to, you know, fight uh, Gennady Golovkin and, you know, for, for, for the undisputed title. Um, do, you, do you feel like that you deserve that fight more than Gennady Golovkin at this at this point? I mean, I feel like I was the number one contender already when I had won the, the title eliminated. Now I have won the interim title. You know, so I basically these two fights I had. You know, I was the number one contender. Mm -hmm. right? Are you willing to go as far as to speak, to speak to Maurice and Sue Juan to try to, you know, you know, try to promote yourself and, and push that fight? I mean, we spoke to Gracias, him already, Jack. but we have to speak to him again. You know, we definitely, you know, I'll, I'll let Sam Shaluka wish take care of that. You know, he's a, he's a Picasso in boxing, as we say, so we'll let him take care of that. Hey, let me put this way for everyone. To be 100% yeah, what I say. Thank you. Gracias, Jagnate. Se te ve super Thank you. Of course, Brito looks tired. <laughs> The champion of the people. So this not talking good about Canelo doesn't exist, and he, he looks so bad that I don't believe he come back. Maybe it will take a 40 years old man, but beside that, he will not do nothing else. So please don't talk anymore about Canelo. Doesn't happen, and, and it will never happen. So these three guys that they, that they deserve to. Do. I imagine the plan is the best one because you have a personal partner who's been there for a long time. So if you really want the fight, you be ready for plan. Well, you talk too much. Thank you guys. Oh, sorry, I'm filming. So, anyway, that's Samson, the promoter, Samson Liquids. And then we have Jose Benavides Sr., dad and coach, my husband. And then we have David right there. David Benavides, he just won the third championship. This not the only one of my Thank you. David, I'll send this guy from All Around Boxing. Again, a second show here in Arizona. Thank you for coming back. Not only showcasing your skills and showing love to Arizona fighters, but also inspiring a lot of kids here, um, seeing you, you know, holding your son up in the ring. Now, Jose, you talked about a little bit about the pressure. What I want to know is how are you and David handling the pressure you guys get here to the States because you were talking about coming I mean, here to Arizona. You were talking about that, that when, you, when you fight here, you're a little nervous. Well, I'll put it to you this way. I haven't seen for five months. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I, to be honest, you know, any little injury and everything, man, it's, 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 this is what I love, and I will do it again. It's super hard, people think it's super easy, but I'm I'm super proud of what Jose Navidez Jr. has done, David has done. Now we have Rayo Valenzuela, uh, Diego Pacheco, man, I'm in heaven. I, I think I'm also, I'm, I'm a dream. I got a beautiful family, I got my kids, you know. I just want to go back Monday. I'm start training again. You know, <laughs> I believe that. Guys good fights. It's super hard. A lot of sacrifice. A lot of tears. Can tell you. You know, we fight today. You know? I mean, there's so many obstacles that we got to go through, and, and that's what makes them the Mexican monster. You know, because all the things that we go through, what doesn't kill you makes you strong. I don't think there's any pressure at all. I mean, uh, I came here and did my job was don't let anything distract me. You know, I look at the bigger picture. The third title was the biggest picture, the bigger picture. And I feel like for me, it's just showing that I did it. You know, it really motivates me. Sorry, guys. See you later. Hi, everybody. I can't text. I can't talk.
when you when you left Phoenix and you became a star, I'm sorry. What? When you left Phoenix and then you became a star, you really didn't have the whole town base. And are you surprised how how much the city has grown up to you? I mean, you do, you were a huge crowd back in November the downtown area. Another huge crowd tonight. Uh, it's like like you never left. No, I'm not surprised. I, I knew uh, that there was going to be this type of crowd. I just had to prove to the people, you know what, it, just because I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, doesn't mean I'm going to get supported by everybody. I got to, you know, do something that the people like to see. You know, I got to box a certain type of way so the people come and support me. I think if I box a different type of way, I don't think I'll have as much support as I have. But because I'm in there, I'm hungry. You know, I want to go in there. I want to get the knockouts every single fight. I'm oh, you know, trying to hurt the person fighting every single round. I think that attracts the people. And, um, you know, that's why I feel like uh, the people gravitate toward me so much because I represent the city and I put it on my back. And, um, like I'm saying, I'm just so proud of you. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Uh, David Brick here, Adriana with APN Sports. Congratulations.